All right, so we're just going to dive in, and I'm going to show you how to do the research, right? Number Step number one in making your videos and actually getting them to rank on Google is going to be to do your research, okay? I'm calling it give people what they want because there's a way we can go out here and we can already find out what people are searching for, and we can just give them that information, okay? So what you're going to do is just go to Google, and you're going to type in Google Keyword Planner. That's the new one. It used to be called the Google Keyword Tool. And Google Keyword Planner just came out in August 2013. So right here, you're going to go on uh, search for a keyword and add group ideas. Okay. So in this example that I'm going to use, I'm going to use a condo complex in Arlington, Texas. Okay. Um, that's where I live. I mean, you can use any any keyword, whatever it is that you want to rank for. Right. Throw in some keyword ideas right here. So I'm just going to type in, for example, cloisters. Condos Arlington. I can do a couple more, right? I can just do Cloisters Condos. I could do Cloisters, or I could do Condos in Arlington, Texas. Okay, so that's the ones that I'm going to use right now. If you want to lower it on your targeting, you can, but I recommend just leaving these all exactly the same way they are. It's going to only pull up results in the U.S. and only English results. Obviously, if you're doing something different than that, then you could change that around. If you want to put some filters, you can here as well. But again, all that is advanced stuff. I would just put your keywords in here and then click right here on Get Ideas. Okay, so when you pop up this screen right here, probably is a little confusing at first, right? But here's basically what you're looking at. So when it first comes up, it's giving you ad group ideas. So they're going to recommend, you know, different keyword uh, groups that maybe apply the most to you, right? Now, I don't necessarily, you know, use these that much. You can if you want to drill down and get some other ideas, but I like to click right here on keyword ideas. That's going to keep it really simple. And so, I'm just going to show you how to how to interpret this screen right here. So, this first one right here is showing us the terms that we searched, okay? That's the three terms that I typed in to look for. And then it's telling me here in this column the average monthly searches. So you can see here, condos in Arlington, Texas gets 170 searches a month, and whereas cloister condos only is 20, right? The next column here is going to tell you my competition. Now, on competition, what that really means is advertiser competition. How many people are going after those keywords and are ranking ads geared at those keywords, okay? This average CPC, what that means is cost per click. So that means that for the term condos in Arlington, Texas, somebody is paying an average of 61 cents each time their ad is clicked on when somebody is on that search phrase, okay? Those numbers really don't matter to us because we're not actually running ads. We're just trying to get an idea of how many times they're searched and how much competition exists around those terms. So what you can do is, you know, if you like those, you can see what's going on with those, right? Now, but also you can come down here and Google is going to recommend a bunch of other keywords. So you can see here they have them recommend, you know, in line by relevance. And so they're going to give you other suggested keywords. What I like to do is actually click on competition. At first, it's going to make it all rank by high competition to low. But if you click it again, it'll reverse it. It'll put the low competition on top. So this is what I like to do is put low competition and then just look through here, right, and see. Now, one thing you're going to see is right here, for example, I'm pulling up some stuff in Arlington, Virginia, so I just want to pay attention to that. But here's one, Cloister Condominiums, right? It's only 20 searches a month, but it's super low competition. And in fact, not even, and nobody is actually even going, you know, uh, for that for that keyword phrase for the most part. So I'm just going to scroll down here, Cloisters again. Okay. Let's see, the Trails Apartments. So you're going to see, right, it's going to give me a bunch of different ones. Condo. So I'm just kind of looking around to see what's out here. Arlington TX condos. So now we're in a medium, right? So if I come back up here in the low, so you can see basically anything that has to do with cloisters, condos, and Arlington, there's about 10 or 20 searches for each one of those phrases. So what we would do is just pick one that we want to go after, right? So maybe cloisters, condos, um, okay, cloisters, condos, I'm just going to put Arlington. I'm going to put TX on the end of my my Texas so that I only pull up that and I stop pulling up all this Virginia stuff. So right here, Cloisters, Condos, Arlington, TX. So it still is low competition, right? Cloisters, Condos, low, that's 20, that's 40 searches. 
Here's Cloister's condos, 10 searches, Cloister condominiums, that's 20. So right, if we focus on that phrase right there, then you know you can see ultimately we'll have about 100, 100 different people searching for that. Now ideally, I like to look for what, this thing, what I call the sweet spot, right? The sweet spot is going to be the searches that are around 500 to 1,000 searches a month. So ideally, I'd love to go through here and find one that's kind of in that range. You know, this one right here, well, Chesterfield Apartments. Well, I don't really care about apartments, right? In this case, if I'm talking about real estate, not really interested in talk, talking to somebody about an apartment. Arlington Condos, 260. Arlington Tix Real Estate. So you can kind of keep just scrolling through here, right? But again, I want to focus on an actual complex in, in my case because I know that somebody's closer to buying a house if they actually know the complex they want to live in. So I'm going to target Cloisters Condos in Arlington TX, okay? That's going to be my phrase the whole time that I'm going to go after just based on this right here on my competition. So this is really how you interpret the Google Keyword Planner. And so just really play around in here, right? But it's a great tool that you can use to see how much competition exists. Now, okay, I'm going to get ideas again just because I changed it to Cloisters Condos in Arlington TX. So you can see that really doesn't actually get any searches, right? Now, if you click this arrow over here, I'm going to show you something real quick. Um, okay, that's not what we want. Okay, what I'm going to do is highlight this Cloisters Condos in Arlington TX. I'm going to right-click on mine, and I can click search Google for it. Okay, so here's what I'm looking for. On this one right here, Cloisters Condos in Arlington TX, there's 20,400 search results. That's pretty good, right? That's actually a really low amount to only see that there's only 20,000 results. I was really thinking it'd be more like at least 100,000 or a couple hundred thousand results. So what I do is I'm going to search it two different ways, okay? Number one, I'm going I'm to search just the normal way like this, and I'm going to see how many come up. So that's 20,400. And now what I'm going to do is search with quotation marks. And look at that, two results. I love that. I'm always looking for a huge change in the number, right? I'm looking for something that's a really high number when you're searching it open with no quotation marks and something that's a really, really low number when you have quotations because that means there's only two websites going for that exact phrase right there. So if we target that, it's going to be super, super easy to take that over. Okay, so you, know, you figure, right, if you're a realtor, for example, and, and you're trying to get people to, to your website, you know, you can get in a couple hundred people, right, an extra hundred people or whatever every month from this phrase right here because people searching for Cloisters Condos, Cloisters Condos Arlington, Cloisters Condos Arlington TX, right, all those things are going to show up for that phrase, okay? So pretty much I feel good about my phrase. I've done all my search with the Google Keyword Planner and, um, and I've picked my phrase. So next we're going to actually shoot the video.